Kicking Country 103.1, Chuck Baker. I have a guest in the studio with me this morning. I have Kurt Kemp, who is the park superintendent for our San Angelo State Park. And good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Man, it's great to have you in uh, again. It's been a little while since I've seen you. And, you know, one of the hard things is where to start because our state park has so much to offer. You yeah. know? Oh, yeah. yeah. We, we, we're we busy all the time with stuff. So and it's a great time of the year to come out to the park. Uh, great for camping. Our weather's been really good. Uh, thank God for the showers we had last night. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just beautiful weather. It's cool in the evenings and cool at night and kind of warm in the day to get out there and do stuff. You know, you were telling me before we went on the air, say one of the least used parks uh, in the state right now, because people don't realize we've been under drought conditions and so forth. And uh, uh, our lake levels are great out there. So kind of bring us up to uh, date on the state of affairs. Yeah, it's probably the least used lake in our area here. Uh, of course, now is where he gets a lot of traffic. We don't, we're hardly have any boats out there. And I mean, we're, our water level right now is probably about, oh, almost 30 feet in the middle there, you know, clear of brush in the middle is perfect for, uh, water skiing, water recreation. Our fish are still coming back. Um, you know, we had the drought, the lake was dry for off and on for about the last four years. Right. So we don't have a lot of big fish in there. Uh, some people have found some, some fish, but, uh, they just started restocking a little bit. Um, they stocked with crappie back in the winter and uh, stocked with some bluegill just uh, a couple months ago and so we've got the forage fish we just uh now i think they're going to try to stock maybe some catfish this spring so excellent so hopefully you know it's it's looking good it's it's looking good and you know i want to encourage people to come out there and use the lake uh get out there with some water skis and 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 some jet skis and, and have some fun because i mean it's beautiful water and it's uh, most time, you know, other than real windy days, it's it's pretty smooth. Something else I want to mention before we get completely away from fishing, and that is uh, that I didn't know that you could do this. Now I knew that in the park that from the bank you don't have to have a license. You do if you're in a boat, and also that you can just check out fishing rods and reels if you don't have them from the park. Yeah, uh, we've got a loaner tackler program there at the park, which you know we'll we'll check out the uh, rods and reels and the tackle boxes, little small tackle boxes for you to use. And this is trying to get everybody kind of encouraged to go fishing again and have fun with their family. And and uh, you just check them out there at the gatehouse, and then of course you have to turn them back in at the end of the day. Right. And um, we've got the little uh, Havelina pond, which is kind of a stocked uh, kid fish pond, and uh, you know that's. Uh, good to start out and then if you want to try your luck at the lake you know we've got the big body of water there that's uh good for you to try to try to get something out of let's talk about some of the events that you have coming up uh we got a little unusual event coming up the 21st we've got the wood cutting which we're uh, going to register people to come in and uh cut some of the dead mesquite out at uh area three and four okay you have to come in and pre-register and register there at the south shore gatehouse and what we're going to do, if it doesn't rain, let's put it that way. If it doesn't rain, we got rained out last time, which is a good thing to happen. But uh, if it doesn't rain, we'll go ahead and open that up. You'll have to have, you know, your safety equipment, um, goggles, some kind of eye protection, yeah. tear protection, and long pants. You know, make sure you don't cut off a leg or something. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> good idea. <laughs> and uh, why don't you come out there and try to, you know, help us clear out some of that stuff. We, we sprayed about three years ago. And we've got a lot of dead standing mesquite. And uh, the only way to really get rid of it, you know, without it just falling down, is for come in and just harvest it. And we're going to open that up to the public on the 21st, check with the office, make sure that we're still going to do it because of the weather. We, right. we can't let people get in there if it's all muddy and everything because we don't want to get stuck. But, um, you know, we'll we'll have it open for sometime. We're going to try to do it three or four times this summer. And, of course, we have to shut it off during hunting season when that starts up back in uh, September. Well, you've got over 8,000 acres out there to play in. And I mean everything from equestrian and pens and so forth to uh, you've got pavilions that uh, people can rent. You've got a bunkhouse people can rent. You've got uh, cabins and all kinds of things. What's the best way for somebody to find out if you have the facilities they're looking for? They can look online. Um 
in uh, go to the Texas Parks and Wildlife webpage and then go to the, the link for the reservations, the online reservations. If they want to check there, they, uh, it gives the information, uh, updated information there on the webpage. Or they can call uh, the Austin number, which is uh, 512-389-8900, and they can make a reservation All right. uh, by phone. Kurt? Man, we could go on and on. There's so many different aspects to it, but uh, uh, I encourage you. I encourage you to use our park. We have beautiful facilities. Uh, Friends of our state park do a marvelous job of working uh, and and making sure that improvements are constantly being made. And, Kurt, I just appreciate you coming in and spending a little time with us this morning. Well, thanks for having me. I appreciate it.